Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here, end of August. It's a nice low humidity day, so I just love working out in the garden east with this type of weather. In fact, I almost put on my my uh, coveralls this morning because it was nice and cool out. But anyhow, today I wanted to harvest some of these beautiful, tasty Kennebec potatoes. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. up buying these seed potatoes from Ray's Greenhouse nearby. It's 60 cents a pound and I ended up planting 15 of these seed potatoes uh, behind me in my garden in my potato patch area. It was around two and a half pounds and uh, you know I, I plant three varieties of potatoes here in my garden. The Red Norlin, the Yukon Gold, and these Kennebec. I planted them those varieties this year. I did videos also on harvesting those but you know, the red Norlin potatoes, they come to harvest in around 90 days. The Yukon Gold are about 100 days. And these Kennebec potatoes are 120 days. And so the idea is you want to stagger your harvest. You know, those red Norlin potatoes are a nice early harvest potato. You know, in fact, usually by then your, your snow peas or your beans are coming in by then. And so you can even dig into the side of the hill or the mound and take out a few new potatoes and then have a nice fresh potato and, and a snow pea meal. And so, uh, but anyhow, today I wanted to go harvest some of these tasty potatoes. So follow me along. You know, I always enjoy having these cattle panel trellises in my garden. In fact, I did a video last year on how you can build one of these for like $45. You know, and those cattle panels are 50 inches wide by 16 feet long, and, and you use four fence T-posts to construct them. But I have my sun gold cherry tomatoes growing up them, and I, I just love having these cattle panel trellises in my garden. You know, you can grow all kinds of vegetables up those. But anyhow, right behind me, I have a 15-foot row here of these potatoes. And what we'll do is we'll harvest the whole, whole row. I'm kind of curious as far as how many pounds of potatoes I'll have in that row. I, on my Yukon Gold Harvest video, I, I really, I end up um, getting about 10 pounds. It really wasn't the best harvest that I've had with potatoes. But, you know, it's really been a wet rainy summer here in Pennsylvania zone six this year. In fact, I don't remember a summer that's really been so cool and, 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 and so much rain. I have my pond over there. Didn't lose any water this year. Usually through evaporation, it loses about 12 inches of water uh, during the summer season. But anyhow, uh, let's start harvesting these uh, beautiful potatoes. And so this is the row right here in front of me that we're going to harvest these potatoes from. You can see Bailey's joining us out in the garden this morning. And typically the time you harvest these potatoes is when the vine dries back. You can see how most of these vines have died back. There are a few vines that are still pretty green, but with so much rain we had in, around here lately, I just wanted to get these potatoes out of the garden 
before they rot. And so, you know, I have a light duty garden fork that you can use or a small hoe that I have is also good. Uh, and I also just use my good old hands. I, I like using my hands in the garden because that way I don't have to worry about misplacing them anywhere like I do my little hand trowels and tools and stuff. But anyhow, I have like four plants right here in front of me and so let's just start harvesting from these and, and see what we can find. It's kind of like digging for gold. And so uh, you can just pull out the, the uh, dried root there. And so that's one nice sized potato there. You know, generally most plants on the average, you know, can harvest, you can harvest two to three pounds per plant. There's a nice big potato. A few more here. Like I said, I wasn't real happy with my Yukon gold harvest, but you know, that's just the way it is with gardening. Sometimes you have your, some successes are better than others. You have your failures, but you know, gardening's a big learning curve. And so I would say I did pretty good from that one plant. I have about eight potatoes there. Let's move over to this next one here. See what we have. There's a nice big potato. So far, I'm pretty happy with the harvest. We'll see how it goes. How are you, Bailey? It's a potato. What do you think? There's another nice potato. I grew these in my composted wood chips, too. These are about three years old. And just made some nice long rows, and you know, they've done really well in these wood chips. Let's pull another one out here. You can see they come out sometimes attached to the plant. So far on average I'm doing pretty well, probably a couple pounds per plant. You also want to make sure you don't miss them. It's kind of easy to miss your potatoes leave a few behind. If you leave a few behind, sometimes I have a new plant growing up in the spring. So from three plants so far I got this many. So why don't we move over and we'll do a few more. A few funny shaped potatoes there. I also have a bunch of ants right here. There's a big potato I almost missed. Another nice size one. So I have a few more plants here on the end and what I'm going to do then is harvest the rest of the row and then we'll then we're going to go up and wash them and then we'll go weigh them you know because I had about two and a half pounds of seed potatoes you know, also when you grow your seed potatoes, you plant them about two, about three inches deep, cover them with a couple inches of soil, but you space them around anywhere from 10 to 12 inches apart. And then also you want to hill your potatoes about twice during the growing season, because it's in the mound is where they grow and develop. So anyhow, I have about three plants here and then about probably another eight more down on that end that I'm going to start harvesting from.
And so anyhow, I have three more, or a couple more potatoes to, to harvest here, a couple more plants. But so far, you know, and occasionally you do get a few rotten potatoes in the soil. At least I have here because the soil's so wet, but you know, so far it's, everything's, uh, it's been a pretty good harvest. Again, you can see how the potatoes sometimes come up with the plant. I even try to save all the small potatoes. But yeah, we just love our potatoes here. And my family, you know, my wife and I were plant-based and we just love our potatoes. You know, sadly, the potato has been maligned by the industry, telling you it turns to fat and the sugar. You know, but in all honesty, it's really the bacon bits and sour cream and butter that we put on our potato that makes them harmful for us. Because, you know, there's civilizations and cultures that live off of potatoes. So we always look forward to our fresh potatoes from our garden. A few more potatoes here on the end one. There's another potato, but Anyhow, I think we're all ready to go wash these up at my outdoor garden structure. So follow me along. So why don't we wash these up and then we'll go over and weigh these over there at my table alongside my garden. And so now that all these are washed, why don't you follow me over and we'll go weigh these. I'm really curious to see how much they weigh. It definitely has some good weight to them. Okay, so let's put these on the scale and see what they weigh. Looks like about 15 pounds of potatoes for like a dollar fifty. So let's take a closer look at the scale here. And so the basket weighs about a pound and we have almost 16 pounds of potatoes here. And so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden, harvesting these tasty and delicious Canabac potatoes. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit us at PlantSmartLiving.com and there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.